Okay, so Moana 2 is now a thing. Disney randomly last night just thought, let's release the teaser trailer for a brand new Moana sequel, and I couldn't be happier. But this also is so, so strange, because for ages we have thought that we are getting a Moana live action movie instead, which I always thought was a bad idea, because why make a live action remake when you can just make a sequel instead? Which, it turns out though, they're making both. So they're going to be released quite close to each other, so I guess get ready for a Montanui overload. You're welcome. But with the announcement of Moana 2, we also have this teaser picture, which just so happens to have a few new characters to the side of it. Let's find out who these characters are and what the plot of this sequel is going to be. But before we go any further, please make sure that you click that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time we make any brand new videos. Now, before we dive into the plot, we actually have more clues than people first think. Because the reason why everyone thought we weren't getting a sequel is because we thought instead we were getting a Disney Plus spin-off show. In 2020, Disney held a Disney Investor Day presentation which went down in history as the Disney Plus Overload. It was the day where they announced so many Disney Plus spin-off shows that back then we were all excited for, and then since then in hindsight we've realised they've ruined half the stuff looking at you Marvel. But along with that was the Walt Disney Animation Studios section where they announced several spin-off TV shows to their most successful movies, which were all set to release in 2023. Now, some we did actually get. They announced the Baymax show all about Baymax helping different people in the city, and they also announced the Zootropolis Plus show, which looked at mini scenes that took place inside the original Zootropolis movie both of which did get released and are on Disney Plus right now as sort of a TV show of shorts, and both are really, really good. I would recommend going and watching them. Moana was also set to have that exact same treatment. However, since then, Bob Iger, CEO of Disney, decided that A, Moana deserved a theatrical sequel. I mean, anyone could have told you that. It's brilliant. And B, Disney Plus's plans of milking every single franchise that they own with a spin-off show onto Disney Plus really, really backfired. I mean, Marvel, Star Wars, Disney, Pixar, they, they just they do too much. We don't need a spin-off show. We need a theatrical sequel. But we can still find out information about the sequel from what this TV show was originally going to be about because that is what this new film is based off. And here's what Walt Disney Animation Studios creative producer Jennifer Lee had to say. Moana's boundless sense of adventure and skills at Wayfinding take her far beyond the reef. And so it looks like Moana is going to be exploring far away distances in the Pacific Islands, which also relates to a statement put out by Disney about this new film. They say it is an expansive new voyage with Moana, Maui and a brand new crew of unlikely seafarers. After receiving an unexpected call from her wayfinding ancestors, Moana must journey to the far seas of Oceana and into dangerous long lost waters for an adventure unlike anything she's ever faced. That crew likely being the ones who we can see in this promotional photo. But there's even more, because in this teaser trailer, we see this island that Moana is on. Now that is not Montanui. In the first film, we don't really get to see moments of the island of Montanui from a distance. This is what it looks like after the How Far I'll Go reprise. Now I know it's in night and this teaser is in daytime, but you get the general idea. You can't tell me that these two places are the same, so I don't think this new island from the teaser trailer is Montanui. Also, Montanui has a massive mountain in the centre of it where all the chief stones are, and this new island does not. Which makes me think that this is a brand new island that Moana has discovered, but considering, sh considering she is also alone in the teaser trailer. But I don't think this is a new island from the expansive voyage that we've just read about. Instead, I think this is a potential new island for Moana's people, and might happen near the start of the film. Because the first film ended with the people of Montanui finally voyaging beyond the reef to find a new island for Moana's people. She places the shell that the ocean gave her on top of the mountain to signify she is the new chief, but also to signify that Montanui is no longer their home and that they will venture out to find a new island. This could likely be that new island. We set a course to find a brand new also, it looks like from this teaser trailer that she is just arriving onto this island and has just discovered it, so it likely takes place at the very beginning of the movie. 
Let's also look into the ancestors bit. Moana is going to be traveling from an unexpected call from a whale ancestor. Now we don't know who this ancestor is, but we know it is not the Gromma, as we saw in the first film that the Gromma is a different spirit animal who led Moana to Tafiti. It could be an ancestor who we don't know about yet, or possibly could be even one of her parents, like her dad, maybe her grandfather. Now we don't actually know when the sequel is set and judging by the tiny glimpses of Moana that we get, it looks like she has aged a lot. It's given me kind of like the age differences of hiccup between each How to Train Your Dragon film. So this sequel could potentially be set years in the future, or it could just be set straight after the first film. If it is set years in the future, maybe her dad is ill, maybe her dad has even actually unfortunately passed away. Either way, whoever this ancestor is, I reckon it will have some close connection to Moana that forces her to go on this dangerous voyage where she has to leave her people once again. Like in the first film, the reason why she ended up going on the voyage is because she saw a spirit animal of an ancestor who she actually knew and cared about, like her grandma. If it was an ancestor who like is from generations ago, who she doesn't really know about, then what would be really the point in going? So who is going on this venture with her? Well, for starters, we have a new boat and some returning faces. Maui and Heihei are back for the ride, and we also have Pua finally joining them on this voyage, which I'm glad about because I was a bit upset that he never got to go on the voyage in the first film. But then we have three other people joining. I can't quite tell whether they are girls or guys, but it looks like a very old guy, a guy similar to Moana's age, and a younger boy, possibly a girl. Again, I can't really tell. Maybe the guy in the middle is Moana's partner as a chief. If this is set a while into the future, she could have found someone by this point, or she might not have. But the real question is, have we seen these people before? And the answer is, possibly. Now we don't know their names, absolutely not, but in this final shot of the first film when Moana is voyaging out with her people, we get a shot of this final boat with lots of people she is close with standing by her parents, and we could do a bit of matching to see if they are the same. For example, the guy with the grey hair kind of looks like this guy in the front. The one who is by the sail could potentially be this guy, who of course is known for this scene. or maybe could be this girl in front, whichever one you think it could be, let me know in the comments. And the guy in the middle could potentially be this guy here. Now it's very hard to see and it might just be an absolute stretch, but it is like Disney to reuse character models, so they might as well use them, and it would make sense that Moana is voyaging with people who she already knows, rather than some random new people who she's never met before. So the film is set to be released in November of 2024, with a whole new soundtrack and I cannot wait for it, and the live action film is set to be released in 2025, so there's going to be so much Moana I can't wait to hear about it. But anyway guys, that's the end of this video, I hope you have enjoyed it, if you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this, do you reckon that these crew members who we see at the side of this promotional photo might potentially be the crew members who we see at the end of the first film, is it just just a stretch. What do you reckon is going to happen in the sequel? Are you excited that we're getting a sequel? I really am. Out of all of Disney's new sequel projects, Moana is the one that I'm probably most excited for. And let me know down below in the comments what else you think might happen in this film. And as always, we've been here on Gates of Theories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.